show. Our next guest was named Comedian of the Year at the American Comedy Awards. He's appearing this week at the Comedy Castle in Detroit, if you happen to be here. There he is, Craig Shoemaker. Craig, come on out. Hi, everybody. Hi, Craig. So I was just uh, backstage. I asked him for a little snack. Somebody just gave me a soy protein isolate bar. I'm into sugar. Anybody else sugar? When I was a kid, every morning I'd get a big bowl, big mixing bowl, fill it up with Cheerios and milk, five inches of sugar on top. I'd eat some, don't see sugar, dump more sugar, more sugar, to get down to the best part. Remember that, that glucose quicksand that's left at the bottom? I'd chug that down, that's like kitty crack. <laughs> Captain Crunch, remember Captain Crunch? This had to be the hardest, sharpest cereal known to children. They should call it Captain Kryptonite, this crap. He'd have soaked it for four hours before he could eat it safely. Otherwise, I'd be injured walking around the neighborhood. I used to have Captain Crunch this morning. That son of a bitch peeled the roof off of my mouth. I got band-aids on my tonsil. I'm gonna shoot that son of a bitch. I was always into candy, too. Remember Pixie Sticks? Remember those things? Pixie Sticks? Pixie Sticks. Yeah. Diabetes in a straw. That was healthy. Wax candy and wax lips. We ate wax lips. What was this? I eat this. I'm crapping candles for three weeks. I put a wick in the toilet. I got a shrine. <laughs> Having services in my bathroom. <laughs> Jawbreakers? How do you eat something that tells you the damage it's gonna do? <laughs> you ever think who invents the candy? Like, how drunk was the guy that came up with a Pez dispenser? <laughs> but, but, imagine just sitting around a corporate table at the candy company. Any new ideas today? Hey, here's my idea. <laughs> Look, you got a big plastic head. It's got like a thyroid problem. No arms, no legs, just a spine. <laughs> now follow me. You pull his fat head back, a brick pops out of his throat. <laughs> It'll sell. We'll call it Pez. I gotta take a Pez. <laughs> Woo! Thank you. I still act like a kid, I'll tell you what. I was at the amusement park the other day. I'm a grown man paying a mortgage. I'm on the bumper cars trying to pin kids in a corner. <laughs> I'm like, all right, come on over, you little rugrats. <laughs> Get away from me, mister! Come on, the ride's over! <laughs> You're a jerk! <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I've always been in a ride. I don't want to ride when I was a kid. 17, we're all drunk. We got a ride called the Hell Hole. You might know it as the rotor, the gravitron. It's a cylinder. You stand in a cylinder. It starts spinning really fast. 900 miles an hour, the floor drops off. We stay in a wall like wet laundry on spin. And this is all you do the entire ride. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. <laughs> Woo! Hey, I wonder what George is doing over. <laughs> Here. <laughs> he puked. It's stuck to the side. <laughs> it's coming toward me. I can't move. Stop this thing, please. You ever forget we all got on this thing, right? <laughs> My fat friend, Steiny, he's too heavy for centrifugal force. The floor drops, he goes down with it. <laughs> I'll never forget his face over there going, whoa, what the hell? <laughs> it's not working for me. He's down here, we're up there. His boobs are pinned to the wall. That's a true story. You've been a lot of fun. Thank you very much.